Hello, this is Romeo Cat Computers, and today I will be doing a video about how to program a Bofang UV5R or UV5R Plus. Uh, this applies to both models because they are very, very similar. So um, I will be going over how to program it for a duplex, repeater operation, and basic simplex operation. So repeaters, they basically, uh, you transmit on one frequency, it listens on that, and then it rebroadcasts it on a different frequency. Uh, it, it makes it easier for uh, multiple people or even just two people to talk. Uh, and then simplex is just both transmitting and receiving on a single frequency to another person. Simplex is a lot simpler, but uh, duplex repeater operation uh, just works better. So, uh, first you want to start by turning it on. Frequency mode. So you'll see two slots here. You can switch between them using A and B. Now, in both of these, this and this are two separate things. They both contain separate settings for a repeater or a programmed frequency. Uh, and so you can switch between which frequency or repeater you want to talk on. Uh, so uh, I, I programmed in these basic numbers just for demonstration. So when you start out, you'll have these um, just some random numbers in here, and you want to well, you want to make sure you're in frequency mode. And so to do that, you press this. So you should start out on channel mode when you first turn on your radio. And you want to press it to get frequency, frequency mode. mode. So once you're in here, uh, there are multiple things to consider uh, for a repeater. So you got the uplink, the downlink, the offset, and the uh, CTCSS. The CTCSS is inaudible, really low frequency tones that uh, your radio sends to the repeater. And when the repeater gets that, it opens it up so you can talk on it. It's kind of like a password that uh, only hams know, uh, although it is public information, so that's uh, not terribly true. But anyway, uh, so first you want to type in your downlink frequency. So I will be starting with my local repeater, the Brookings repeater, W0BXO, and that is 14694. And make sure you put the zero at the end, uh, just to fill in all six uh, places. Uh, now, if you're doing simplex, this is all you'd need, because uh, simplex doesn't require any special options, but repeaters do. So, you want to go into menu, menu, and I will show you the different things you want to set. So, go to option 13. Uh, TCTCSS, now press menu to select it. Now, uh, again, this is the unaudible tone, and each repeater is going to have a different one. So scroll through this until you find the one listed for your repeater. And for mine, it's 110.9 hertz, and then click menu confirm. to confirm. And now it is programmed in here. You can scroll up and down. You can... Uh, exit the menu and go back menu. in and it's still there. So now you want to set the offset. So the offset is basically telling it, okay, you have the downlink frequency. Uh now what is the uh transmit frequency you want? Uh offset frequency. So for me it's a 0.6 megahertz. Uh, for the 2 meter band, uh, it is very common for it to be 0.6 megahertz, but just double check just to make sure you have it right, because it's not always 0.6. Menu. Now, the frequency direction is whether it's plus 0.6 or minus 0.6. So that is uh, option number 25, you want SFT-D. Now, you can do minus or plus or off for simplex. You want uh, minus in this case. And exit. 
so now I should have everything programmed in and I will uh, do a test. Kilo, Foxtrot, Zero, Charlie, Charlie, India, radio check, radio check. Okay, so no one responded. A radio check is basically just like a test, so if someone says radio check, that's them asking uh, just everyone, how's your signal? And then you can respond by saying your call sign. And then you can say, oh, your signal's fine, or your signal's a bit scratchy, or whatever. Uh, it doesn't seem like anyone happens to be listening at the moment, and so I wasn't able to get a result, but that's fine. Uh, so... The fact that I was able to transmit and the repeater gave me feedback, uh, it didn't give me its Morse code, but uh, towards the end there is a bit of a pause before it shut off, uh, and that is uh, feedback from the repeater, and so that shows that I was able to get in. Now, uh, that was a 2 meter repeater. Now I'll show you a 70 centimeter repeater with uh, some different settings that you want to watch out for. Menu. Oh, wrong button. So I'm going to overwrite and put it in this slot. So this is the Volga repeater. It's a repeater in a neighboring town. And uh, like I said, it's 70 centimeters. So I will put in its frequency. And its frequency is uh, 444.05 megahertz. Four, 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 zero, five, zero. Alright, so that is the downlink. Now make sure when you're typing the number in here, you want to put the downlink. That's the output of the repeater. Now go in the menu and change uh, the settings I had gone over. Menu. So, uh, for 70 centimeters, it's common for offset frequent. for it to be uh, 5 megahertz offset. Zero, zero, five, zero, zero, zero. Confirm. Again, it's common, but it's not always the case, so just make sure. And then, frequency I want to set the frequency direction to plus. Confirm. Uh, that is the settings for this particular repeater. Alright, now for the CTCSS options, this one's uh, like normal. Just scroll through until you find the one. Mine is 136.5. Confirm. Now sometimes, and this is one of those times, CTCSS. it has a receive CTCSS. So you want to make sure uh, you know what that is or if you need that. Confirm. It happens to be the same as the transmit. Uh, again, that might not always be the case, so just make sure. So, that is all you need to set for that kind of repeater. And now, I will uh, try to make contact. The Volga repeater isn't very active, so I'm not going to... probably not going to expect anyone answers, but I might get something. Now, the repeater is kind of far away. And this antenna just won't do. So it's time to whip out the whip antenna, as they call it. Uh, the the uh, antenna that the Bofang comes with is pretty garbage, so I suggest you get a longer one. So I want to orient it vertically like this. Uh, well, let me turn it back on. And then I will try to talk on the repeater. Kilo, Foxtrot, Zero, Charlie, Charlie, India, radio check, radio check. Alright, well, still nothing, but, uh, anyway, that's how that works, um... As for a simplex frequency, you just want to turn, you want to turn off CTCSS, all, both receive and transmit, 
uh, you want to turn off offset, you want to turn off offset direction, so you don't want plus or minus, you just want off. You want to set offset to zero. Uh, and then all you do is you just type in your frequency in here, and then that's all. Uh, so, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, this isn't a new camera. This is uh, an old cell phone released two or three years ago. Uh, I've noticed it's not a whole lot higher quality, but it focuses on text better. Uh, so, I've been using that for this, just so you can see the menu and everything. Uh, in other news, I uh, got QSL cards, so if you, live, if you live in the area and you talk to me, you might get one. Uh, anyway, that's it, and I hope to see you in the next video.